Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. The Chaos Wastes have opened, and Archaeon, the ever chosen, stalks the field of battle. As we have Chaos versus the Vampire Counts today, we have Wei leading the Chaos Horde, and we have Constanta is going to be leading the Vampire Counts. So, for the Chaos Army, we do have a front line of Chaos Marauders. We have four of those, and they will be backed up by a pair of Chaos Trolls. Uh, they do have good armor piercing values, but they are trolls, so they do generally have lower leadership. But to counteract that, Wei has brought the Aspiring Champions, a rare sight indeed. These units, um, only 12 unit uh, models, but they do have very good melee stats, and they do have Encourage as well, providing a little bit of leadership to the surrounding troops. Now, their combat stats, while good, it is only 12 models, so that really doesn't help a whole lot. They still perform fairly subpar in melee but that encourage might just be what chaos needs against the undead who have fear and terror very prevalent in their roster we do have a couple of dragon ogre shaga some very good monster killers and archaeon the ever chosen who is going to be bringing slayer of kings burning head uh, flaming sword of ruin and uh, fireball as well so lower fire always a good pick against the undead factions and for mobility we do have some marauder horsemen with throwing axes and a pair of marauder horsemen so they're not really going to win any of the mobility fights but they will be able to keep those flyers at bay a little bit and the throwing axes can do quite a bit of damage over time to even the cav or the larger targets for the vampire counts and for the vampire counts we do have a pair of black knights on this far flank and we do have a blood knight on the other so some pretty heavy hitters for the mobility department but we also have triple fell bats as well uh, pretty much just to help in case that chaos would have brought a flying lord and perhaps some exalted heroes as well to protect the von karstein vampire lord but in this case they'll pretty much just be chasing off any routing units for uh, that chaos does eventually happen and for the lord of course we do have the von karstein vampire lord who is going to be bringing transformation of kadan invocation of the heck and raise dead so the von karstein vampire lord does have um, access to the lore of beasts now normally he when you see the von karstein vampire lord is usually because uh you're worried about flyers and you're going to bring storm of the night but uh this time the uh, Vampire Counts has not brought that ability, instead just going for Transformation of Kadan, which is still a pretty good spell to be bringing, uh, but usually you will not be seeing, oh, you will be seeing Storm of the Night from that uh, Vampire Lord. For the front line, we do have triple zombies, and they will be backed up by just some regular skeleton warriors, so we have four of those, but in the rear is really what's going to, uh, Vampire Counts are going to try and win that infantry fight with is for Graveguard with great weapons. Now they do have very, um, well, I guess it's decent armor piercing values. Uh, it is the best that the Vampire Counts can bring in terms of armor piercing uh, for infantry, but there isn't really gonna be a whole lot of good targets for them. It's just Chaos Marauders and Chaos Trolls as well. And I mean, they only have 40, model, uh, 40 armor. So I think that the great weapons and that armor piercing is gonna be a little wasted on this uh, army that Chaos has brought. But that is the armies for today. And let's get this show on the road as chaos generally does struggle in this matchup especially with kind of the uh fear that the counts have the mortis engine that they can bring um, but it's right now the and they do go a lot na more narrow than what the counts do generally bring so we'll see if the chaos troops are going to be able to um break through as the front line does engage and the zombies are pretty much just going to be um, absorbing that charge as allowing the skeleton warriors to get in and a fireball arcing its way from Archaeon and making connection with the Von Karstein and Vampire Lord and so far these troops are the skeleton warriors is getting absolutely destroyed but with these chaos trolls and they are quickly quickly being broken down and breath attack going down right into the center of this formation hitting a couple the aspiring champions as well as some chaos marauders now that would have been much better Cast had it gone down the line, but in come the heavy hitters for the vampire counts with the grave guard with great weapons. And the fell bats are trying to screen out these um, skirmishing cav pretty well, uh, though they'll just be able to kite away. They will actually be able to catch them, uh, so they might need to have a little bit of support. And it does look like we have a transformation of Kadan, or that is just a summon of 
uh, zombies in the rear. Trying to get a little penalty here, but these frontline zombies are just getting destroyed a little too quickly, and a very, very nice burning head coming down the line, doing a lot of damage to two grave guards with great weapons. A very nice cast there. So, and it is going to be hitting. Uh, it almost hits this other unit of grave guard, just clipping them a little bit. And I do hear that transformation. Or actually, that is an overcast transformation, which does get the Vargulf. So a nice rear charge by the Blood Knights, and uh, so those Blood Knights are going to be absolutely destroying these Chaos Trolls here, and this entire little pocket of troops does get routed off very, very quickly, and these Blood Knights are sitting very pretty, but here are the two Dragon Ogres, I guess, and if those Blood Knights stay in combat for too long, they will get to take a quite a bit of damage from these Dragon Ogres, I guess, because each swing of their mighty axe does cleave models to and fro and already bleeding models from these blood knights but the um, black knights being able to break this little pocket here the aspiring champions still holding strong they are down to 10 models and they are just getting absolutely surrounded though by the vargulf and these black knights and that is a very uh, dangerous position for them to be in because those aspiring champions are is what's keeping these chaos trolls in as this is where all the vampire counts are pretty much just getting surrounds off on all of the fronts right here as chaos is just on the back foot here as most of its frontline engagements have been broken so now it is pretty much just down to the big monsters of archaeon and the dragon ogre shagas now those two uh it's still a very formidable foe because um that von karstein and vampire lord really can't help in the melee engagement as uh archaeon and these two dragon ogre shagas will put a massive beat down on them i've got that coming down uh, doing a little bit of damage to Archaeon, but I think that probably would have been better cast on one of the Dragon Ogres. I guess just it would make better connection there. But otherwise, the Chaos Marauders are starting to come back on the periphery. However, things not going so well as there's an overwhelming uh, majority of Vampire Counts Infantry versus Chaos Infantry left. The Marauders are, have been able to kite away from the Felbats. It looks like the Felbats have actually been pretty much taken out by the um, Skirmish Cav. So that is a plus side for the um, Chaos as their aspiring champions themselves are routing as well. And it is just down to the cavalry and the big monsters for these troops. And a little summon of zombies trying to muck up these Shagas and Archaeon. Though I think that was a little wasted cast because I mean these sh Dragon Ogre Shagas have a bunch of mass and zombies are not going to be able to keep them down um, for, at all if <laughs> even if they get a nice cast on top of them. And even Archaeon himself should be able to pull out of that stuff fairly easily. Now these Chaos Marauders are going to be engaging the mass of troops right now. And uh, these troops of the Vampire Counts are pretty blobbed up right now and Archaeon really hasn't used any spells too recently so a nice burning head would be able and here it comes right through this mass of vampire counts infantry and is just going to do so much damage that is exactly what the counts had to avoid they had an overwhelming um dominance in the infantry fight and they pretty much just um uh, just lost that right there with one cast of that fireball and now that um, Von Karstein Vampire Lord is in a very bad spot is Archaon and both of the Shagas are just wailing on him and he is taking a ton of damage throwing axes coming in from these Marauders and now the aspiring champions are back in the fight as well five models left though they do have their encourage aura so they will be keeping the shagas and even archaeon in the fight for a little longer and archaeon himself has taken a bit of damage but not as much as that von karstein vampire lord though the big threat still is going to be the um black knights actually the blood knights i think were the unit that actually got taken out because there's these two black knights are still at full health so not really as big of a threat then if it is just these black knights if one of these was the blood knights left that would have been a bit of a hassle for these Dragon Ogre Shagas to deal with, but these Dragon Ogre Shagas should be able to beat down these um, Black Knights fairly easily, and even with the support of the Von Karstein Vampire Lord, I think things are looking pretty decent for the Chaos Forces, even though they have no infantry left. The last two aspiring champions are running away, and the Von Karstein Vampire Lord is starting to heal up a little bit. A, a nice invocation could get him topped off, but he has used two both of his transformation and Kadans to get some Vargulfs on the field already and so that is quite a bit of Winds of Magic on top of that but now it is just a mosh pit of monsters here 
as these grave guards with great weapons actually will be able to do a decent amount of work against these dragon ogres they do have 70 armor so those that armor piercing isn't completely wasted on them um, but i mean archaeon is just such a powerful lord and he is very good against infantry and if you take a quick look he's already at 294 kills most of those off of the two burning heads um, but it looks like we do have a summon coming in of zombies just to kind of further muck things up keeping these troops um, busy right now as pretty much the last of the ammo for the Marauder Horseman has been used up. Well, there is still three of them, and, and all three of them, if they were able to get an isolation off of one of the Black Knights, should be able to deal with them one at a time. But here comes another juicy burning head. It is going to roast through some more Graveguard, doing a bunch of damage. Vampire Counts trying to push their way out of the um, way of that cast, but unable to do so completely, taking a nice amount of damage from that castle. Three burning heads have done so much work and, there, and these aspiring champions are coming back, but the um, Von Karstein Vampire Lord is going to just jump on top of them, seeing how isolated they are, and he will be able to finish them off. Just one left, and it is terrified right now, and if it does rout, it will be gone for good. This, that will be its third time, though it is going to probably return, if even just for a second. Some nice charges in by these Marauder Horsemen, though, um, just cycling in and out as these Black Knights have taken quite a bit of damage, and things are not looking so good for the Counts as it looks like army losses are kicking in, and the less rest, rest of the army will disintegrate into the ground, and down goes the Von Karstein Lord, and that will be your game. So take a look at the after battle report, and I think the MVP has to be Archaeon in this battle, those burning heads just doing so much damage to all of these troops. Uh, even though that their front line got beaten down exceptionally fast. I mean, the Chaos Trolls were able to um, win some engagements fairly quickly, but the Counts just had so much infantry, they were just able to get surrounds off on all of the Marauders. So the front line broke extremely fast, even with the aspiring champions there, they just it just didn't matter. All, they got routed off so quickly, but the Dragon Ogre Shaggoths with Archaeon, specifically the Burning Head, is why you bring Lore of Fire there. Uh, the Von Karstein Vampire Lord, a little interesting pick there, especially without bringing the uh, Terror of the Night. Uh, though Chaos didn't bring any flyers themselves, it is still an interesting pick if you are bringing Von Karstein Vampire Lord. Uh, usually it is for that, but I guess they're just looking for a little extra summons, though the Counts really don't need that much when it comes to dealing with Chaos. They really just need to make sure they have what's they have the tools to deal with the Shaggoths, and the Blood Knights did go down very, very quickly, and that is a really good unit to deal with those Shaggoths. However, yeah, losing them, the Black Knights are definitely not on the same level as the Blood Knights, and the Black Knights could not deal with those Shaggoths, and especially that Von Karstein Vampire Lord uh, is not able to take on double Shaggoths either. So very well played by Chaos here, those burning heads doing so much work, and I do hope you all enjoyed the video though, and as always, have a good one.